How's it going everyone? This is Jay from Keyboard Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my easy strategy for beating the Destroyer on Master Mode. I mentioned in my Queen Slime Guide that the Daedalus Stormbow and Holy Arrows were nerfed, and that's significant since they used to be overpowered against the Destroyer. So since they don't work as well as they used to, we need to add a step to the old strategy. The main item you should use is actually the Black Spot Pirate Ship Mount. This mount is insanely fast and allows infinite flight, and you can use this mount to easily beat all of the mechanical bosses. So the Terraria wiki says that the black spot has a 25% drop chance, but I got super unlucky and literally killed the Flying Dutchman 20 times before it dropped. However many times it takes you to get it, it's an amazing mount that's worth farming for. So with the hardest part out of the way, you should either use titanium or adamantite armor with a ranged helmet. If you're finding that you just can't survive against the destroyer's attacks, then you can actually use the melee helmet for its better defense. For the weapon, you're going to want the Daedalus Stormbow of course, but reforge to Unreal if possible, along with at least 1000 Holy Arrows. For accessories, you should use a Magic Quiver or a Molten Quiver, along with a Ranger Emblem. Since you're using the Infinite Flight mount, you actually don't need any movement accessories, so you can use more damage boosting items if you want. Now that you have all of your items, you should make a pretty small bridge with regeneration items. I use the same bridge that I fought Queen Slime on, and it doesn't have to be huge because the main purpose of the bridge is to collect the hearts that fall from the probes. So before I started the fight, I used an iron skin potion, an archery potion, and a shrimp item that increases health regen. After spawning him, I fly straight into the air and start shooting the stormbow at the destroyer. The two main things to watch out for are the probes and the lasers he fires but both of those can be outrun with the flying mount. If you get overwhelmed with probes, fly away from them and take them out before continuing. The probes constantly drop hearts, so you can go down and collect some if you're low on health. Overall, the fight is really easy using this mount. You just have to keep dodging the lasers, dodging the probes, and collecting hearts. I even managed to kill the destroyer twice in one night, so this strategy is perfect for farming the destroyer. Once you've beaten him enough times, you can craft hallowed armor which will make the fight much easier. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a like and subscribe, and check out some of our other videos. 